Have you ever been stuck when it came to raising your prices? Or maybe you feel a little hesitant about charging a lot more money than because you know everyone in your industry is doing it and or you've watched some of my videos and you know you're supposed to be charging higher but you can't seem to do so. For obvious reasons, you know I know what you're going through. <laughs> Because I've built an event business where I'm able to charge not only just a couple of hundred, but a couple of thousand dollars per balloon design in my event business, along with helping other designers within my coaching business to do the same. So when it comes to raising prices and knowing your worth, there's a lot of resistance that can come out. And I want to make sure that you overcome this based on what the industry standard is and what's really going on within your mindset. Because everybody knows, if you've been watching me for a while or you're just finding me in this video, mindset is key for growth. So let's address some CEO things you need to be doing in your event business in order to charge your worth. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I wanna do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the event business tips, tricks, and hacks that I give away on this channel for free so you're able to grow in your event business. Before we get started, I do have a coupon code to a mini course on how to price your designs properly for higher profits in order to get paid what you're worth. So if you're interested, I'll leave some links down below in the description box and in the comment section so you're able to apply this coupon right here to the mini course where you learn how to charge your designs, give irresistible packages towards your clients, and how to book high-end clients for your event business. So if you would like to figure that out and learn with me, feel free to click the link down below. Okay, so we're going to get a little deep. So make sure you bring a paper, a pencil, maybe a snack, maybe a little drink. I got my water here because we are going to discuss what's really going on when it comes to not charging your worth and why you're meeting that resistance when you know you should be charging your worth. You ready for the tea? You have a desire to charge higher prices, right? But it's matched with a resistance or worry or fear when it comes down to your event business. Now, a lot of people will say, you know all the information, you know what you should be doing, yet to apply the strategy or apply lessons and things you learn into your event business is so difficult. And why is that? A lot of my designers who join my coaching program, who follow my social media, who DM me all the time, have always asked the question, how can I charge higher prices? Or there's a limiting belief about there are clients who don't want to pay. I don't care where you are in the world. There are clients for you and there's clients for cheaper businesses than you and more expensive businesses than you. It is what it is. Specifically, those of you who live in the United States. I don't know about any other country because I've never been there. But I know for the most part, this is a worldwide strategy, a worldwide belief that there are no clients who are willing to pay because it's already happening in your reality. Now, I am going to go real deep. In fact, in the interview with Lauren London and Angie Martinez, I love them both. She said, I am deeper than the earth. Yes, Lord, because that is me. <laughs> I am about to go deep, deeper than the earth with you guys in this video. So if you have religious beliefs when it comes down to understanding what's going on with you unconsciously or consciously, feel free to just open up the gates. Just kind of hear me out. And then we can then discuss how your beliefs tie into the results in your business. When you have a desire to make more money, but you have a lot of resistance in doing so, right? That resistance can be your fear. It can be your doubt. It can be your worries. It can be everything that keeps you stuck. You may ask yourself, why is this happening? According to a podcast that I listened to, and I will link her podcast down below because it was phenomenal and her entire episode of this was something I needed to bring into my channel because it's so true. Everything that is occurring now in your reality is an old belief or an old story you've told yourself and you believe to be true. So event designers that I have mentored throughout the years, I always tell them that their mindset 
is really the key to their success and growth. And when they don't evolve their mindset or they get stuck in their own ways, this tends to slow down their progress in order to meet the revenue goals that they have in their event business, okay? And it starts with charging your worth. The one thing I learned about in this podcast is that we are already worthy. And I kind of knew that. You are already worthy. You are here. Do you guys know how hard it is for to come into Earth, let alone stay here and go through all of the chances of us actually dying? Like, that's a gift in itself. <laughs> But you have to understand your thoughts become feelings evolve into your beliefs. Your beliefs then lead you into your personality. Your personality then becomes your reality. Now, there are a lot of scientific notions, strategies, tactics that coincide with what we're thinking and feeling and how it exudes into our reality. And I will let you do your own research because we're not going that deep, right? This episode would be hours long. However, we're going to address that what we think and feel turns into what we've known to believe to be true in our reality. So if you doubt, if you have a fear of charging your worth, if you doubt about your prices, if you feel like clients won't pay, guess what will happen? In fact, I want you to write in the comments, what will happen if you constantly think clients won't pay? I'll pause this video, write it down, I'll be here, but please write the answer to that question because I think we really need to change the narrative, but we need to address what's holding us back. So I'll wait for you to come back. You wrote your comment? All right, I'll be answering them down below. So hopefully you wrote something along the lines of that when you believe that clients won't pay, you will attract exactly that. One thing we talk about in my group coaching program, Party Like a CEO, is what stories were you told when you were younger and how did you adopt them into your own beliefs? Because these beliefs are limiting your potential and your success within your event business. In order to overcome these limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck, you must first do the following. You must become aware of what you're thinking. That's it. Just become aware of your own thoughts. When you become aware of your own thoughts, you then become an observer of what's going on. So in the podcast I was listening to, she told us that you have to become very self-aware of your own thoughts. And I know this to be true because when you become aware of your thoughts, you become the observer, you become the higher self, you become consciously aware of what's funneling into your brain. Because most people are running on autopilot, right? Most people are asleep. That's why they say when you're woke or awakened, it's because you're consciously aware of what unconsciously you've been doing for so long. So I challenge you when it comes down to understanding your worth. Where in a moment in time in your past, did someone say you're unworthy? Was it a guy that you liked and all of a sudden he called you ugly, fat, or stupid? Was it your mom or your dad and you brought home a C thinking you did a really good job, but in, in essence, they wanted you to strive for an A and it wasn't good enough? Or did a client or a family member say, hey, can you design this party for me? And then you told them what you were charging. They were like, why are you charging me so much? I'm family. Like, that makes no sense. If any of these things sound similar or if any of these stories have occurred to you, that is the reason why you're unable to charge your worth when it comes to the price points within your event business. When you attach these thoughts with feelings of anxiousness, worried, fear, scared, doubts, this leads into you becoming paralyzed to not even take action in your business. Let that sink in. The reason why you're not charging your worth is because you're stuck in the fear, the anxiousness, the doubts, the worry that nobody will see your worth, that nobody will value you and your designs. So as I'm listening to this podcast, again, she's preaching all of this and there was one monumental statement she said. And I was like, oh my Lord, I need to give it to my designers on YouTube. 
Here's what she said. She said, when we come onto earth, we are already worthy. I've read, said this, I've said that this in multiple videos, but there is a moment in time that we experience unworthiness and we adapt that belief. However, it's not about building your worthiness. It's going back to already being worthy. What? <laughs> Can I get it? Amen. Okay, it's not about building your worth. I want y'all to understand this. I want you to understand. Right? No, y'all. You. You're watching this video. It's not about building your worth. It's not about building your value. Your already value. It's about going back to where you were born. It's about going back before the beliefs and the old stories told you you were unworthy. It's about going back to see you how God sees you. Throwing a little spirituality, a little religion in there, whatever you believe to, I don't care what you believe. Just know there's an, a powerful entity in within our world that believes you are worthy, that's why you're here. Let that sink in because when you know that to be true, when you go back to why you were brought here on earth, you will realize that you were only here to co-create, be happy, find joy through your own experiences. Don't allow your ego to dictate your future. Instead, tap into what you already have. Unconditional love because you are here watching this video. I told you we were getting deep. <laughs> I want to give you a few more reasons why you might not be charging your worth within your event business. So that way you're able to then switch the narrative and charge your worth. Okay, another reason why you may not be charging your worth, right? And don't get me wrong. Let me pause this real quick. Even people within the event industry, even if you've been in here a few years, I've been in here for five years. It doesn't matter how much time a person's been in this industry. Things have happened over time that also keep other people within this industry long term small. And I don't want that for you because if you find this video, then I want you to expand and grow. Another reason why you might not be charging your worth, according to the podcast that I listen to, is you're not specific in what you want. There are so many times, I've done on so many calls with people, I have coached so many people within this past couple of years. And whenever I ask, hey, how much money do you wanna make? It is the hardest question to answer. Well, I just want to be financially free. Okay, how much is that? Oh, well, I want about $3,000. Is that what's gonna take you to get financially free? Is that what it feels good to you? Is that what lights you up knowing that if you got $3,000? Oh well, no, it's it, it won't really light me up. Like if I made $10,000 a month, it would really light me up, but I think that's impossible. Okay, let's start off a little small, right? It's about finding the medium of what you wanna charge or what do you wanna make that makes you feel good. And when you believe that you you can achieve it and when you believe that you're able to go after what you want it makes it a lot easier for the universe and God to fulfill and attract you with things people experiences that are going to align you to those goals that you desire but you have to be specific don't be scared to say what you want if you know what you want and be clear and write it down. Because if you don't write it down, if you don't speak it into existence, you won't get it. In the example on the podcast, she goes, you know, a lot of people will sit here and say, oh, I want I want more money. And then you find a penny and, and then you're like, oh, this thing doesn't work. This law of attraction doesn't even work. It, it, it's garbage, it's trash. You asked for more money, you didn't say specifically what you wanted or how much. So the universe and God delivers it and now all of a sudden it doesn't work. But you have to be specific. You have to know how much you want in order to get and attract the experiences to deliver what you want. And don't be scared to say that you want to make 10k months. Don't be scared to say you want to make 20k months. It is possible. Anything you want and anything you believe to be true and anything that's on your heart is meant for you. And I hope you understand that. The next thing when it comes to why you might not be charging your worth is alludes to finding it in your reality now. So in the podcast, she gave a task to the listeners about if you want to make 10K months, right? What feelings would you get? What feelings, what would it feel like to make 10K months and write those all down? So I wrote them all down. And so one of the examples she put out there was ease, right? Your life will become a lot easier. Well, in your life right now, you have to focus on what is easy. You have to focus on that and lean into that feeling because the amount of money and the wealth that you desire in your event business 
will not come into fruition if you're not an energetic match. So in order to be an energetic match, you have to find it within your world right now. She said, if you have a bed to sleep on, you have safety and security. If you're able to go out to get coffee, you have the ability to spend money or get money to spend money. You have to become the feeling that it will give you right now. So I challenge you, what feelings will you feel when you start to make $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $100,000 a month. Identify those feelings like, oh my goodness, I would feel so relieved. Find that in your life. Or maybe it's playing with your kids and really truly being present and turning off this phone and being present. These are the things you have to do today in order to get what you desire tomorrow. So whatever you desire in your life right now is possible and you have to be willing to search for it now. That is all of, might be the reasons why you're unable to charge your worth. So let's just recap. One, it may be the old stories you're telling yourself and why you don't believe or have fear around that you need to change those narratives and just become self-aware. Second, you need to be specific on what you want. Put intentions behind it, put it as a number, set it as a goal, look at it every day. And the third thing, identify the feelings that you will have if the desire came true and try and finding it in your world right now because it does exist all right again if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment or a question also remember I have the price your design course that specifically tells you how to price your designs in your event business that have utilized in all of my coaching world and I condensed it into a mini course that you can learn virtually and you will have lifetime access for it. Well, that is all I have for you today. Make sure if you need help when it comes to pricing your designs, you check out the link. Here's the coupon code again for you to buy and learn with me. If you love this video, make sure to share it with a friend. Let them know, like, I have a channel that helps you with your business side of your event business. Share it with them. Let them know. Make sure you design your dreams into reality, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Why is the temperature changed? I don't know.